will not mention any names. Very presidential, isn't it? Very presidential. And nobody wants me to talk about your other senator, who's weak on borders, weak on crime. So I won't talk about him. Nobody wants me to talk about him. Nobody knows who the hell he is. See, I haven't mentioned any names. So now everybody's happy. Well, they didn't mention names. I don't know that everyone's happy, though. Uh, President Trump slamming Arizona Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake during that rally in Phoenix. The president calling out Senator McCain for taking the deciding vote to kill the Obamacare repeal effort. And in a tweet last week, President uh, called Jeff Flake, who was in the middle of a tough primary battle, weak on immigration and crime. The president appearing to throw his support behind Flake's challenger, former state Senator Kelly Ward, who joins us now. We should also mention we did extend uh, an invitation to Senator Flake. We're waiting to hear back from his camp on that. Uh, Dr. Ward, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Shannon. Great to be with you. I got to ask you about this tweet uh, that for many folks out there introduced them to who you are when the president suddenly tweeted out about your name just days ago. Did you know that was coming? Do you have a relationship with him? Well, I, I mean, I have a great relationship with people in Washington, D.C., but I did not know the tweet was coming. It was pretty exciting to be woken up at 4 o'clock Arizona time to, with, with people telling me that the president had tweeted out positively about me and had brought up many of the things that I've brought up against, uh, about Senator Flake, that he's weak on the border, that he's weak on crime, and really that he has been, you know, a non-entity in the United States Senate, ineffectual. It's time for a change. Okay, we know that you uh, ran unsuccessfully against uh, Senator Senator McCain in, his, in that primary contest, so now you're gearing up again for next year. And this is really unusual to a lot of people to have the sitting president, although not formally endorsing, seeming that he's throwing his support behind you or suggesting that others do so, uh, versus the current uh, sitting senator who seems to have the, uh, the full support of the leadership, including Senate Majority Lich, uh, Mitch McConnell, and the PAC that does political ads, digital ads, uh, in support of reelecting incumbents. We want to play a little bit of an ad that they're running against you and give you a chance to respond. Sure. Chemtrail Kelly's got her head in the clouds with crazy ideas. She bizarrely blamed John McCain for ISIS. John McCain is directly responsible for the rise of ISIS. The ad goes on. I want to read a little bit uh, of a uh, piece in the Washington Examiner that, that dovetails with this. It's an opinion piece by Tom Rogan. He says, she doesn't actually seem to be wed to any principles beyond subservience to Trump. Almost to a rule, her campaign platform is defined by attestations of support for Trump and his policies. When she's not attacking a great patriot, Senator John McCain, for his brain cancer, Ward is engaged in weirdo scaremongering. All right, there's a lot there. Give you a chance to respond. Well, I mean, it sounds like the classic smear coming from uh, the establishment and many of their allies in the mainstream media. I was a very effective Arizona State Senator, not because I was extreme in any manner, but because I put forth excellent policy that was good for the people of Arizona, that I was able to get um, my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to buy into, get to the governor's desk, and get signed. In fact, I got 19 bills signed into law in 2015 alone, bills to shrink the size of government, to lower taxes, to lift the heavy hand of government, off the heads of small businesses so they could thrive. So those kinds of attacks are ridiculous. People are looking for a change in Washington. They want someone that's action-oriented, and they do want someone who wants to support President Trump's America First agenda. And that's why so many people are flocking to my campaign. Do you think the establishment is threatened by you and the possibility that you would be elected? I don't think they'd be throwing out attack ads and spending thousands of dollars to attack me if I were not a threat to their establishment power. I want to ask you, if you became a senator, where do you stand on this idea of getting rid of the 60-vote threshold for the filibusters? The president keeps railing against it. He says it is gumming things up. You can't get anything done because of eight Democrats, although there have been Republicans, including Senator John McCain, who have uh, not been helpful to his agenda there in Congress. Where do you stand on that? Because the Senate Majority Leader keeps saying there's just no way. There are people on both sides of the aisle who say they'd never get on board with that. Well, you know, I think that some of the problem is the virtual filibuster, where people can just, you know, throw out the idea that they won't vote for something, and so nothing comes before the Senate to even be discussed. So the American people don't get to hear what's going on. They don't get to hear the reasons why somebody might want to stop something from going through. And it's caused a lot of gumming up of the works. I agree with Congressman Franks. I think it's something that we should explore uh, as we move forward. The rules of the Senate should not trump 
trump the the rules are, or the the will of the american people and the need to get things done for our country mm -hmm. things like securing the border and stopping illegal immigration uh, at the top of my list yeah. getting rid of obamacare and just think had i replaced senator mccain i would have been the deciding yes vote to get rid of obamacare to start that full repeal so there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done in the senate and right now it's it's uh, an obstructionary body both on the left and the right the democrats right. aren't the only ones stopping things the establishment republicans are as well that's right. one of the reasons why i'm running for the united states senate is to change that and to get things done for the people okay dr kelly ward gop candidate uh, in 2018 for senate seat out of arizona thank you very much for your time